What's up guys and gals, it's Goliath for Arc Studios. We are still at the Garden State Comic Festival having a blast. Now, I walked past this table, I glanced at this table, and finally I stopped and looked at this table. We're definitely going to show you some pictures, but it's a game, another card and board game, but like nothing I have ever seen in my life. It involves squirrels, it involves traps, it involves magic, it involves fighting squirrels. I can't explain how awesomely intrigued I am about fighting squirrels. So let's talk to the creators, the founders, and the men that behind this slight insanity of a game because I am falling in love with it. So I am here with Ash Masco and Matthew Reynolds. And you guys came up with this game how, apparently? I'm just like, squirrels fighting, because like when I saw the first one, I thought it was like Squirrel Jesus. I was like, it's kind of Squirrel Jesus. Uh, actually, well, uh, the game's based off of the comic book, Squarriors, uh, which is a series written by myself and illustrated by Ashley Witter, who's also back over here. And uh, it just follows you know, the lives of squirrels after man dies off, and they start creating little tribes and going to war with each other. And as we were developing the comic book, we were also working on the game alongside of it. So everything that's going on in the comic happens in the game, and you, have, you know it all is kind of connected in that way. I mean... <laughs> what else could you do with it? You're just with the game. Um, what the biggest thing that we want to do is create a microcosm that you can play. Because in the comic, you have different tribes and factions that aren't going to associate with each other. But in the game, you get to do that. Okay, so it's kind of a little bit of Magic: The Gathering meets a semi-deck builder meets your own kind of like strategy game, kind of more or less. Kind of like a Warhammer, War Machine type thing. You know, it's almost more of a uh, like real-time strategy card game more than it is like Magic the Gathering or anything like that. You know, it's a lot more, you know, putting together your troops and putting together your tribe and your locations and going to war with your buddies. So it's a little bit of like trying to figure out how well you can strategize for the future in the premise of the game itself. Oh, yes. So uh, who came up with like what part of the game? Like who developed what aspect? Who developed the names, the ideas, the comic? Like who really helped which part of the game builds itself up? Like, who came up with the mad idea? Who came up with the rules? Or was it all a collaboration? Uh, well, like, again, like the whole theme and everything is based off of Scorriers, which is just my creation I know, from the comic book. When it came down to actually working on the game, that was three years of development with myself and Matt and a whole team of people. Uh, so a lot of the mechanics, you know, came from all of our brains put together and then broken down and then built back up and then, you know, literally three years worth of testing until we came to, you know, the, the final, I don't know, kind of epic opus yeah. of, you know, the Scorriers game that we finished yeah. up. I mean, the biggest the biggest thing is we went through, I think, seven or eight iterations of eight. how to play the game for it to actually make sense every time that you played it. So if you're doing your own game, don't think the first one is what you're going to land on. So you guys literally went through seven to eight alpha, beta, delta, gamma, like all through the Greek alphabet before you finally settled on the last one. We had four completely finished games before we got to this one. So there was all kinds of little iterations in between those, but there was literally four completely different games that got completely built and then broken down and started from the beginning and then broken down and started. So this is literally the fourth final full version of the game that we you know after all of that came together until we got it right until we got you know what scoriers was going to be and this is what we were happy with and this that and i think the biggest thing that that was touched upon is originally it was a deck building game and we wanted that that agency of being able to pick what you wanted to play and i think the biggest revelation was let's take the deck out of it Deck out of the deck builder. Yep. Take the deck out and just have everything start and play. Have your cards start in your hand. Your creatures start on the field, and you just start fighting. There's no random drawing, no anything like that. That is amazing that you were able to get through so many versions of the game, not rip each other apart. No, like you know, because sometimes well, it's, it's like I hate. <laughs> <laughs> there was some ripping apart, but we survived. I don't like this card anymore. <laughs> that was my favorite card. So um, tell us a little about the rules itself. Besides, you know. Um, obviously removing the deck of the building of part of the game so how does one begin to play this game like give us a quick synopsis on how this game is going to be like for the average gaming card and board player i'm going to let matt show you something really quick here because he's he's he's, yep. he's the boss all right so as soon as as soon as you open it up and you want to build a tribe you have 40 points to build your tribe you've got 20 only to spend on your domains you need one code one stronghold and at least one land then the next 20 points that you have is for building your creatures. 
You can get up to it, you can be lower than it, but you can't exceed it. This is your tribe. Then you pick out of the 55 different tactic cards that we've got, you build a hand of 10 tactic cards. So there's your example right here. Now you've got this set, when you get to play the game, you would deploy your creatures to where you want them to start. They can change throughout. And then your hand of tactic cards, it's just right in your hand. That's how the setup of a game is. Okay, so it actually looks very simple. It looks very easy to understand. But again, it's like learning a new game over and over and over again. Sometimes you just gotta, your first round might take you an hour. Your second round, half hour. By the time you and your friends get really good at it, you're having five minute rounds and blowing each other apart. <laughs> So in the whole game, obviously you guys each have a part in this, and I'd love to have her inside into this too. What is one of your personal favorite cards in the game? Like something that you know, like without you, like oh, this is my baby. This is my baby right here. I, I can tell you pretty much for sure. Actually, ZZ right there is probably my favorite creature card. Uh, one of my favorite characters from Scorriers, and just a really fun. Uh, well-balanced, strong card that I like to play in a lot of different decks. So I, I, I'm a fan of ZZ. That's a good one for me. And ZZ, I think that's kind of cool. So how about you? So what is one of your, you know, your what's your baby of the deck? Uh, my favorite is absolutely Red Coat, both both in the comic series and on the board. This one? Oh. Yep. Yeah. So this is the the full art variant of it. This is the full art variant of Red Coat. As far as tactic card, stay legendary. <laughs> I think that's everyone in any game ever. Get the legendary rare cards. And uh, what is your uh, other conspirator's name? This is Ashley Witter back here. Ashley, what is your favorite baby? Where's your baby in all this? What's your favorite absolute baby card? What's your favorite card in Scorius? Spin. I don't think he's on there. Oh, yeah, he's not out there. Oh, we don't have Spin out. Oh, wait, maybe we can find him. Where to find Spin? <laughs> so I was looking for Spin, so... Obviously, you, um, you're an animal lover. You made it about squirrels, although they are killing each other. Yeah. Um, is there going to be a possible continuation of the game, maybe later down the road, like involving other animals, or would you continue with this one as a follow-up? So, or There's already all kinds of different animals, and there's d uh, dogs and cats and mice, and there's all kinds of manners of creatures. Uh, and the, the game series goes along with the comic book series. So next year, when the next Scorier series comes out, there's a whole other expansion that includes all the new characters and all the things from that. Well, that's gonna be, that is gonna be awesome. I definitely look forward to it. Now, do you guys have any social media that our fans and followers and subscribers can check out and order a box of this? Because guys, I'm pretty sure like, I might buy this before I leave today because I'm just like, I have to play with Barbarian Squirrel, like Conan the Barbarian Squirrel. <laughs> definitely want to know ahead of time. Tactic cards, because we're only allowing so many to be in your hand. Yeah. When you play it, you use the white banner text, and then afterwards you get to build strategy chains and use a black banner text. You can layer those together, and how you do so will dynamically change its behavior. So you can alter the entire... You can pretty much alter the entire flow of everything in one fell swoop. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is kind of... So you can take the game from one step to another like that, guys, and just completely blindside your opponent, which kind of, I love doing that to my opponents, just completely mentally messing with them. But uh, yeah, please let us know about your social media, like a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So I'm pretty sure our followers are definitely going to get a kick out of this. <laughs> awesome. So you can follow me on every social media at my name, Ash Masco, A-S-H-M-A-C-Z-K-O. And you can check out our website at Cold War. Dot us and that'll get you to everything we do that gets you to scoriers it gets you to all of our other games it gets you to all of ashley's projects all of my projects and everything cold war us all right so cold war us guys so check out the game check out their social media i definitely may want to try to play around with this i'm pretty sure i'm going to get destroyed in like hand one <laughs> but i'm hoping you guys check it out this is goliath from our studios and this is just so awesome guys thank you so much thank sir right. sir thank you so much Absolutely. later guys